Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to install Network Simulator that is NS2.34 on Fedora. I assume that you have already downloaded NS all in one 2.34.tar package. The tar file contains all the source code with other packages. Please remember that it's not an RPM that you can be installed directly. Prerequisite for installing NS2.34 is that you should have CC, GCC, G++ compiler. I am going to open the terminal and type CC, GCC and G++. To check whether they are installed. Now you can see that there is no errors. Just the input file is missing. That is not a problem. To install NS2.34, create a new directory inside your home folder. To create a new directory, open the home folder, right click and select create folder. Let's give the name of this folder as NS. Now let's open this folder and copy NS all in one 2.34 tar file from the desktop. Select the tar file, right click it and click extract here. Wait till the extraction is completed. The extracted folder contains all the source code which is needed to be compiled for NS 2.34's installation. Now open the terminal and type cd ns slash ns all in one. This is the place where we have extracted ns all in one package. Once you are inside this package, type dot slash install. You will find C files getting compiled for all the packages. Wait till the installation completes. Once the installation completes, you will find NS all in one package installed successfully. If there are any errors, then the installation stops at that point. Then you need to check what software development package is missing, or you need to check for the header files that are missing. When the installation is successful, you will find TCL, OTCL, NS and NAM as well as XGraph installed in the respective parts. One important note you will find is the instruction to set path. So that NS will work from any directory. Now you can check 
whether the installation is successful. I am going to open the terminal, go till NS2.34 folder and then type dot slash NS. If you see a percentage, then the installation is successful. Thanks for taking time to watch this video.